Have you heard the one about the Mexican fighter who quit? No, because it never happened and it never will. Why? Porque puro machismo. It's unmistakable. You see it, you feel it, you know it. The strong, aggressive toughness in the ring. Face to face, toe to toe, eye to eye. Mano a mano, you hit me, I hit you. Best man wins. End of story. Born and raised in East LA. Watch fights from the Grand Olympic Auditorium, cheering from the cheap seats. And ringside, my living room floor, front and center of our old black and white television. Watching fighters making sports history. Mexican greats, like Antonio Barrera. Eric Morales, and of course, the great lion of Culiacan, Mexico, Julio Cesar Chavez. So, after Canelo Alvarez, who's gonna be the next great Mexican fighter? Me? I think it's this kid from Nogales. Described as human dynamite. An undefeated record fought to a win after his jaw was broken. Said it made him stronger. A bloodbath. What I think you're seeing tonight is the emergence of Oscar Valdez as a great fighter. Lives with scorpions and snakes in the hottest, meanest desert in all of Mexico. Swims with a 14-foot crocodile. <laughs> He's so mean and cold-blooded. They call him a reptile. The reptile. Big combination from the Mexican fighter. This fight's so over. How bad? Who's going to throw the guy now? And still undefeated, Oscar. Oscar Valdez, made in Mexico. I train so hard every day. I dedicate my life to this sport. Every day I wake up in the mornings thinking about who I want to be in life, who I, who I want to be recognized as. And the one word I can describe myself as, as a warrior. The definition of a Mexican warrior means a lot to me because when I was a little kid, I grew up watching nothing but warriors. The one fight that I will always remember, classic war, Marco Antonio Barrera versus Eric Morales. It's not easy being inside the ring, getting hit. So it's very easy to quit. That's what defines all these Mexican warriors. They never back down. There's no losing in our, in our minds. You know, losing is not an option. And all of them have hit the canvas. They have been knocked down, but all of them get up. They all get up and they always leave their heart, blood and sweat and all their guts inside the ring and everybody recognizes them as warriors. And those were the fights that made me want to become a warrior. Once I'm in the ring, I leave everything I got, and it doesn't matter if they break my jaw, if I'm down in the canvas, I will always give them 100%, because that's what a warrior does. The concept of a Mexican warrior is well known in the world of boxing. And in between the ropes, that warrior spirit lives on, paved by the path of those before them. Cuando tú sabes que vas a pelear con un mexicano, ya sabes que va a ser una guerra. 
estoy orgulloso de ser mexicano, de representar a mi país y el ser mexicano, todo uno lo hace de corazón, ¿no? El, el orgullo, el, el, el de ganar, creo que es una de las cosas con las que sale uno siempre a, a, a pelear y eso es lo que te hace más fuerte. My fight with uh, Scott Quaid was definitely one of the toughest fight in my career, if not the toughest fight, because uh, he broke my jaw in the, in the fifth round. The body, a big right by Scott Quaid, and Valdez has to hold on here in round number five. And I remember sitting down in that round and, and thinking to myself, what's going to happen? You know, it's, we're only human beings, you know, we, we, we don't want to get hurt, we don't want to suffer. And me just having my jaw broken, was, at the time, was very scary. But not scary because it would hurt. It was scary because I didn't want to lose. Yo sí me di cuenta que estaba lastimado. El Oscarito y yo tomo, todo el tiempo hemos tenido algo muy, hemos estado muy conectados desde que él ha sido un niño. Yo, yo le veo sus, sus altas y bajas. Yo sabía que estaba lastimado. Yo sabía que estaba... I can honestly say there's somebody who's been in the tough situation with me, would be my dad. When I was a kid, we were just me and him, me and him. To this day, he's still here with me. Para mí hubiera parado la pelea, pero yo pienso que le hubiera arruinado su récord que él tanto cuida. Y pensé mucho en pararla, pero mi instinto me decía que no la parara y los ojos de él me decían que no parara la pelea. For me, my mind is, it always tells me losing is not an option. And the blood coming out of the mouth of Oscar Valdez, looking to dig deep and prove his medal as a Mexican champion. That's the reason why I trained this the way I do, because you know I want to be considered one of the great Mexican fighters in history. And I want to be in that list. I want to be with them big names. And who's to tell me I can't do it? That's my mindset. And for that to happen, I can't lose a fight with Scott Quaid. I can't lose that fight because I got my jaw broken. I gotta push it, I gotta push myself. Comes Valdez, and he continues to punish Scott Quigg. And we did that round by round, round by round, and the next thing you know, I was already in the 12th round. He's had to dig deeper than yes. ever tonight. From there on, Oscar Valdez is a guerrero. Oscar Valdez is a warrior. He doesn't back down. People say that. And if people say it, then I'm happy as well. Still undefeated, Oscar. Mexican fighters are famous for their relentless pressure and devastating body shots. But they are feared for that aura of machismo. They still want to fight. Los Carlos is okay. standing there and saying, I want to fight. But it's over, guys. And everything is saying, quit, stop, don't. It's when your heart is bigger than your opponent. And your heart says, keep going. This guy is impressive. This yes. is a little different than the, the previous. It is two. completely. He's had to dig deeper than yes. ever tonight. Yeah, this is a war, a bloodbath. After the Scott Quick fight, the decision was supposed to be made about you need to change. You need a better trainer. You need someone who can teach you other things. And they mentioned Eddie Reynoso. And I said, you know what? I think he's the one. He's a very smart trainer. He knows what to do, he knows what to say, and he's very technical. And if there's something that Eddie Reynoso tells me what to do, I'm gonna do it. No era cambiar totalmente su estilo, sino que, que era apoyarlo con algunas otras más, este, algunos otros fundamentos boxísticos, se puede decir, para, para que fuera un peleador más completo. Y creo que nos costó un poquito de trabajo, un, unos dos campamentos. Y yo, yo empecé a ver que iba, empezamos a, a sacar el talento que él tenía por ahí un poco escondido y, y pues gracias a Dios las, las cosas se nos han dado. Eric Reynoso es muy 
es un, aparte que es un entrenador elite, es, es una persona que te da confianza, que te da esa buena vibra que vas a ganar, a unas, a, haciendo lo que él dice y, y acoplándose con mi hijo. Yo pienso que Oscar puede hacer cosas muy grandes. Oscar Valdez, world champion, coming off that back and forth draw when he went up against Scott Quigg. I'm grateful to God for giving me this pass. And a knockdown score here by Valdez. Six. I'm here just to learn. You know, I'm not here to make friends, to go out. Strictly business, it's strictly gym time. Tomazzoni, four Five, here. Six, seven. There's no fun in games. Let's get to work. Then it's paying off. It's over. Oscar Valdez, welcome back. The gym Reynoso leads is a magnet for talent, thanks in part to its most famed fighter, the current WBO, WBC, and WBA super middleweight champion and number one pound-for-pound -pound boxer in the world, Canelo Alvarez. Having someone like Canelo Alvarez, who's a very disciplined fighter, you know, I could learn something from Canelo. He's, he has a lot of experience, so for him to, to take his time and tell me certain things, what I should do in, in certain situations in boxing, well, it means a lot to me. Más que nada, Oscar es un es una persona muy disciplinada, una persona muy dedicada al boxeo y y pues yo nada más trato de de aportar un poquito de de mi experiencia, de lo que de lo que sé hacer, pero más que nada. Pues eh, creo que me ven, también soy un, una persona muy disciplinada que siempre está aquí en el gimnasio aunque no tenga pelea y creo que eso es una de las cosas más importantes en un peleador, la disciplina. I'm very grateful that I'm in this position right here because I'm pretty sure a lot of fighters would wish to have these learning experiences. And I'm here right now and I'm going to take advantage of it. When I look at the past, I look a lot of struggle, a lot of pain, good memories. Here comes the champ. Oscar Valdez is more than we thought. He's grown, he's learned. In the present, I see a living dream. There's always going to be pressure, but, you know, at the end of the day, we, we're going to beat that, and then we're going to win the fight. Big right hand from Oscar Valdez. Big combination from the Mexican fighter. I would like to think that it's a bright future, but life is not always like that. You gotta struggle sometimes. Oh, one hook puts him down! Six, seven, eight! And that will do it. It's gonna be a 10th round TKO for Oscar Valdez. To have great things, sacrifice has to happen. And that's what I'm doing right now. I mean, to have a better future, definitely have to struggle today in the present. Mexico versus Mexico. This is the main event. Miguel Berchet versus Oscar Valdez was supposed to be the next big war. Two Mexican fighters going up into the ring and, and giving it their all and giving it a great fight for the fans. Fighters know, they know this moment when the man opposite you can make you a better version of yourself, demanding you give more than you ever have. But it turned out to be different. Prácticamente teníamos todo México pensando que iba a ganar Miguel Berchet. Being a small super featherweight, and him being a big super featherweight and knocking out most of his opponents, well, 
people thought that he was going to do the same thing with me. There wasn't one expert of boxing who didn't say that Miguel Brichet was going to, you know, knock me out. Que Julio César Chávez, Eric Morales, los ídolos de él, no creían en él. Y eso fue una motivación para nosotros. Without a doubt, I think it was one of the toughest training camps that I've had. Not physically. I always train hard. There's not a day where I don't give him 100% every day. But for the Brichet fight, it was a battle that was going through my mind. Because of course, we're human beings. So we might believe the hype. Tell myself, I know I can beat him. I know I can beat him if I do this, if I do that, if I play, do a perfect game plan. I know I can beat him. And then there was this other side where it was like, well, why are the odds four to one? Or why is boxing experts or analysis saying that he's gonna walk through me? And then I will slap my face a couple of times and say, no, no, no. They can believe whatever they want. I'm not losing this fight. Here we go. Exactly how I pictured the fight that was gonna go is exactly how it went. What Valdez is doing, he's fighting with emotion right now. He's fighting smart, he really is, but he's fighting with a lot of emotion. If Valdez was fighting with emotion, it was controlled emotion. I was planning on winning every round, round by round, being the smarter and the faster fighter, outlanding them, counter punching them. That's what we were doing. Cuando yo estaba en la esquina, desde que se acabó el primer round, eh, yo sabía que podíamos ganar la pelea. Valdez is fighting a smart fight right now. Using defense, attacking in the right spots, using his jab effectively. Like there, beautiful work. As good as Valdez looked in round one, Burchelt did not back down. Realmente sí, es una pelea muy complicada. Tenemos enfrente un, un buen campeón. But a partir del second or third round, he started Oscar to a dominate him. When I saw that... Valdez continued to pick apart Burchett's defenses, culminating with a knockdown at the end of the fourth. Backs him up, and that's a technical knockdown. The ropes held him up. Look at his legs. Six, seven, eight. Come here. Give me your gloves. Let's have the end. Spectacular round, and a shot comes Four. in right at the bell. My this is what wars are made of. His legs are still wobbly. Number one, two comes in. Burchelt withstood each barrage. Big right hand from Valdez. Even looked like he was mounting a comeback and gave as good as he got. Right hand comes in from Burchelt. He's finding a little something here in round seven. Yet, even with the highest stakes of his career, Valdez stuck with his game plan. He's putting on the performance of his life right now. Oscar Valdez is. <laughs> Uppercut combination, and he scores the knockdown. Valdez does it again. Four, five. Oscar Valdez yes, in control here as we come to the end of round nine. Ten. That, was, that was my night. There was no way I was going to lose that fight. Not that I was expecting more from him, but I was just, I did exactly what I expected from myself. Masterful performance tonight by Sabah Diaz. Motivated by doubters. Doubters? You think there are any of those left? Still, no one could imagine what would happen next. As soon as I connected that punch, I knew the fight was over. Anything's possible, and I proved it that night. Oscar Valdez is the new champion. Everybody expected a war, and that wasn't the case. Una vez más demostramos que tiene para campeón. Él nació para esto. The new WBC. Proving everybody wrong going up against all the odds. Very few people who actually believed in me. And it was just, it was just a special night for me, without a doubt. Oscar Valdez! 
one of the best moments of my life. Yet, as any boxer will tell you, winning the title isn't the hardest part. The hardest part is keeping it. It's very easy right now to lose track of who you are. You know, now people who doubted me, you know, now I'm asking about this. Now they don't call me a Oscar, they come a champ. And it's very easy to forget what made you a champion. I know who I am, and I know what I want to do in life. I want to be considered one of the best. We all know Shakur could box, he can move around. But does he have the heart? Does he have the guts? Does he have the hunger that I have? He's a tough fighter, and I'm not taking this fighter lightly at all. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to come out victorious, and that's the way I'm training right now. I'm the champion, and I will defend my belt with everything I got. And that belt's gonna go home with me. Mexican fighters like Oscar Valdez are not known for their lavish lifestyles or undignified behavior. Instead, they understand that fights are won not with flashy headlines or raucous television press conferences, but with the work. <laughs> Lonely morning runs, countless hours in the gym, lifting weights, hitting the bags, endless sparring, and with the support of a team that he comes to know as Familia. whose name will be next in the record of great Mexican fighters. Valdez believes it will be his, and I don't doubt it. After all, he's at Joe in Mexico. WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World!